Hey YouTube, Devin here with Comics and Stuff. Welcome back, happy Friday, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, I'm so excited for today's video. This is probably one of my most highly anticipated videos of the year. Uh, everybody's always hitting me up on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Hey man, when is it gonna get released? When are you gonna come out? Where is it? Uh, you know, Can you do it earlier? Well, here it is, after all the wait, after the excitement, after the buildup, this is it. This is my Comics to Invest in video 2018 edition. I am so ready for this. I have compiled a great list of books that I wanna tell you guys all about, and I wanna dive right into it. But first, just a little plea from yours truly. Um, please come and subscribe and, and make sure that you support the channel. Go over to my Redbubble page and get your official Comics and Stuff t-shirt. You can get the logo on whatever kind of clothing you want. You can get a patch sticker. I've uh, been really trying to push that with friends and family. You can get it on your phone case, and I've released a couple other awesome designs as well. Um, so please make sure you guys go over and do that. It'll help me out, and you guys will get some cool swag. But anyways... Um, all right, you guys ready to dive into this? Because I know I am. I've been waiting to release this video. Uh, so, Comic Books to Invest in 2018 edition starts right now. The first book on my list is Black Lightning number one. And by the way, I have compiled a great list of 18 videos or 18 comic books for you guys to invest in this year, with Black Lightning number one being the first. Why Black Lightning? Well, Black Lightning is getting his own TV show on the CW. And if you guys have followed the CW for a while, you'll have seen the Arrowverse with Arrow, Flash, um, Supergirl and Legend of Tomorrow and they have done fantastic for themselves one of the most popular superhero like universes in television history um, so you know they're adding Black Lightning to that roster and you have no idea how, how good they're going to do and uh, I, I believe that the show is going to be a hit the preview looks great the acting and the actors are great um, er, and looks great so you know, Black Lightning number one. You can pick up a raw copy of Black Lightning number one for about $40 on eBay in like a mid to high grade. So there's that. Uh, second on my list is, is going to be, it's going to be two and two now. So second is going to be X-Men number 101 and X-Men number 134. So rumor has it that Fox, before the Disney Fox deal completes, they're going to be releasing a uh, X-Men movie featuring the character and villain Dark Phoenix. So, X-Men 101 is the first appearance of regular Phoenix, and X-Men 134 is the first appearance of Dark Phoenix. Um, you can pick them up respectively. One, You can pick up the uh, first appearance of Phoenix, $175 or so, um, raw, and then higher if graded. But, you know, if you want to pick them up raw and then get them graded and sell them off for later, that's kind of the idea of investing. And I digress. Uh, and Dark Phoenix, uh, X-Men 134, you can pick that up for about... $50 or so, maybe a little less in a mid-grade. Uh, moving on, this one is going to be kind of a doozy. This is probably the most expensive uh, book on the list, Spider-Man 300 and Spider-Man number 361. So if you aren't a Spider-Man fan, it's okay if you don't know this. If you are a Spider-Man fan, I'm disappointed if you don't. But Spider-Man number 300 is the first appearance of one of Spider-Man's most iconic villains, uh, Venom. Well, I guess, is Venom a villain or is he like an anti-hero? Whatever. And then 361 is the first appearance of Carnage. So uh, Sony is coming out with a Venom solo movie. Uh, this was announced and confirmed, I believe, sometime last year. But uh, the book itself hasn't picked up a lot of traction yet. It's always been an expensive book because because Venom is such a popular character. Right now you can pick up a uh, like mid-grade copy of Spider-Man 300 for about $250, but pick it up now because after that movie comes out, it's it's not gonna go any cheaper than that. Uh, I've been holding on to my Spider-Man 300 for years now, and I'm gonna try to get it signed by Todd McFarlane um, this year, so. Uh, and then as far as 361 First Carnage goes, you can pick that up for relatively cheaper, around $60 uh, in a mid-raw grade. So there's that. Uh, next, Fantastic uh, Four number 67. So that is the first appearance of uh, Adam Warlock or him. So if you guys don't know who that is, if you guys watched, uh, this is a spoiler. I'll give you two seconds. It's a spoiler for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I'll give you two seconds to pause or click or move forward. Okay, so um, if you're still here, that means you want to know. So Adam Warlock slash him uh, is, if you guys watched Guardians of the Galaxy 2, at the very end of the cutscene, there was that sarcophagus, tomb or whatever, and the uh, golden lady was like, I think I'll name him Adam. So that's, that's Adam Warlock, and um, he is a pivotal character 
in the Infinity War, Infinity Gauntlet uh, series of comics, and he's going to be in the upcoming movie, I'm only assuming, because now his character's been introduced. His book has slightly climbed in price as of now. It's already been expensive. Um, you can pick a good, like a mid to like mid high grade copy for about $80, $85 raw on eBay right now. Um, but that one is probably the one of my most recommended books to collect. I have mine signed by Stan Lee. I picked it up like a year ago when, um, when I first heard mention of him. So that one is important. So get that. Um, next, Tales of the Teen New Teen I'm sorry Tales of the Teen Titans number 44 and DC Comic uh, DC Comics presents number 26. So Tales of the Teen Titans number 44 is the first appearance of uh, Nightwing and then DC Comics presents number uh, 26 is the first appearance of the New Teen Titans. So Nightwing as a character just got cast in the New Teen Titans TV show that's going to be coming up. I believe it's on FX but I'm not sure. Um, if you got or TNT one of the two. Pretty sure it's TNT. In any case, um, <clears throat> so they are going to be doing a Teen Titans TV show. It has Nightwing, uh, Starfire, Beast Boy, Hawk, and Dove. Um, and I'm not sure what other characters. But Nightwing, the leading character, just got cast. So you don't know if that book's going to go up or down or not. So keep an eye on that one. And then, yeah, T uh, DC Comics Presents number 26 is the first appearance of the new Teen Titans. So that's the first appearance of Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. So make sure you check that out. Um, I have that signed by George Perez. But holding on to that for a little while. So good comic to invest in. Next on the list, I guess that makes it 19 comics, 19 books. Anyways, next on the list is going to be Aquaman number 29 and Aquaman number 35. So Aquaman, oh, you know what? Let me rewind for a second. You can pick up a new Teen Titans number 44, uh, or Tales of the Teen Titans number 44 for about $75. And then DC Comics Presents for about $60. And those are both mid to mid high grades. So just to let you know. Anyways, Aquaman 29 and Aquaman 35. So respectively, those are the first appearances of Ocean Master and Black Manta. For those of you who don't know, Ocean Master is Aquaman's like evil half-brother and Black Manta is Aquaman's like arch nemesis, one of his most well-known villains. Um, so Aquaman 29, um, you can pick that up on eBay for about $50 and Aquaman 35, about $150. That was a little more expensive just because Black Manta is so iconic. Um, these books are potentially going to explode based upon how well the Aquaman movie does. I don't know if any of you guys went and saw Justice League, but spoiler alert, uh, Jason Momoa is awesome. Love that guy. I, he was a little too goofy, but I think he did a great Aquaman, um, and I'm, I'm really excited to see more. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Those are great books to get right now. While they're still cheap, they could potentially skyrocket even higher. Uh, Aquaman number one is already in like the thousands, so just to let you know. Uh, next is going to be um, some Black Panther stuff. So we got Jungle Action number six and Avengers number 62. Um, so Jungle Action number six is the first appearance of Eric Killmonger, uh, one of the main villains in the uh, upcoming Black Panther movie being played by Michael B. Jordan, one of my favorite actors. Uh, and he looks stunningly awesome. I cannot wait. And then the uh, second one, uh, Avengers number 62, is the first appearance of uh, Man Ape, and you're wondering who's Man Ape? I haven't seen Man Ape in the uh, Black Panther movie. Well, Man Ape is actually the character Mbaku or Mbaku, um, but uh, you know because everybody's trying to be conscious of ev everybody feels, which is nice. Um, Disney didn't want to have an African American character on screen named Man Ape just because that can be demeaning or awful in some way. I wonder why. But in any case, so yeah. Um, if you didn't catch it, that was sarcasm. I know why, and you know, but uh, yeah. So now he's Mubaku, but that's his first appearance is uh, Avengers number sixty-two. So both of those books you can actually pick up for less than a hundred dollars. Uh, I think they're in like the forty to seventy dollar range uh, in a mid grade. Um, if I were you guys, I would pick up the first appearance of Eric Killmonger over Manape just because uh, that book is currently still climbing, whereas Manape is kind of plateaued for the moment. But who knows? Um, and if you guys are curious about more of Manape, he's kind of like the the leader of the tribe of like or the mountain tribe in Wakanda, and he has like some some huge issues with how uh, T'Challa like runs the country. So there's like conflict there. But in any case, uh, moving on, Gotham City Sirens number one and Detective Comics number eight fifty. So Gotham City Sirens number one, 
first issue for Gotham City Sirens. Detective Comics 850, uh, first appearance of the Gotham City Sirens. Uh, if you guys watched Suicide Squad and loved Margaret Robbie and Harley Quinn, you know that Margaret Robbie is going to be producing a Gotham City Sirens movie, or at least that's what's being said, uh, starring Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and... Uh, Catwoman. So those books are slowly climbing in price as well. Um, you can pick up a Gotham City Sirens number one for about 75 and Detective Comics 850 for about 50 So 50 to $75 range for both of them in mid to high grades. Um, and you can get that on eBay. Uh, next is going to be Marvel, Marvel Graphic Novel. It's such a tongue, tongue to try to say that 10 times. Marvel Graphic Novel uh, number four. So that's the first appearance of the New Mutants. And uh, if you guys have been seeing the previews lately, the New Mutants are getting this like scary horror movie treatment from Fox, and I'm really excited to see it. It looks creepy, it looks eerie, um, and it looks like it's going to be awesome. So pick that up. It's a little bit of an obscure book, but it is there. You can pick it up for about $100, $110 uh, raw on eBay right now, um, but that price is going to go up just because it's a little more wanted and difficult to find. And then we come to our final book, Spider-Man number 101, that is the first appearance of uh, Morbius, the vampire guy, um, and he is rumored to be a villain in the next upcoming Spider-Man movie. I'm not sure if that one is confirmed yet or not, but uh, yeah. So those that is my list of books. Uh, oh, and you can pick that up for about $100 or less, just to let you know. But So that is my list of books that I think that everybody should invest in in 2018. Uh, the other two videos that I did for 2016 and 17 have climbed into the thousands of views, like 12,000 or more. Um, and so those are those, I, I hope that this video meets your expectations. I hope this is what you guys wanted to hear. If there's anything I could have done better, please, please tell me if there's anything that I could improve, anything you wanted me to mention, I'll make sure to put it on the Twitter and the Facebook. Um, and thank you guys all so much for the support and, you know, being there and, um, just following it's 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 a new year you know we're in 2018 i'm excited make sure you guys hit up that red bubble store and uh yeah that's really it i guess i'll see you guys next friday mm -hmm.